everyone welcome to UI brains and this is Naveen so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the node.js npm module so we already discussed what is npm modules and all so in this video we are going to discuss a new npm module a one third party module called bcrypt.js um, let me write here b bcrypt.js fine so what is this module all about uh, generally when a user because at server side when a user has login or once a user has registered that user details may contains the name of the user email of the user and the password of the user right so name and email you can store as it is but the problem is the password so how to store the password so we must have to encode or encrypt the password and then we need to store it and while retrieving you have to take it and you have to decrypt back and then match with the existing password if both are matching then only you have to allow them to log in okay so you must have to encode the password so for encoding we don't need to reinvent the wheel i mean we don't need to write uh, the code from the scratch we have a beautiful uh, npm module that's called bcrypt.js okay so let's see how to install the bcrypt.js uh, because core modules we can just uh, you know import and we can start using uh, custom modules also we can just directly import it and we can use it but third party modules these are somewhere available in the google uh, right so we have to download them and how to download them what are the commands and uh, how to use them so let's see in this video so first of all the very first thing is whenever you want to use any third party module so it's not for core or custom if any third party module if you are using in your application you must have one file called package.json okay so if you if any of your backend node.js application is dependent on any one of third party module it must have one uh, file that's called package.json so what is this package.json so this package.json is like a configuration file for your application so what is that configuration file uh, let's say um, you know this contains uh, uh, the application name the version the author the keywords the test command the start scripts stop scripts and uh, you know deploy scripts build scripts and also the uh, dependent modules uh, information the complete in and out information about your project or the node.js application can be written inside uh, package or json so this is like a user manual for your package i mean your application okay so we have to create this so how to create this is uh, we need to use a single command let's call npm init if i use this npm init it is going to ask you several questions so what could be the package name version and all so once you give some answers it will create uh, the package or json okay so let's create a package of json for our application and then uh, we'll start installing this and we'll start uh, also using that so first of all let me go to the uh, web stream. i create a folder new directory 06 hyphen node js npm module and uh, what's the name bcrypt uh, js okay so node.js npm module bcrypt.js fine so this file is empty this folder is empty and we need to create a package.json so let me open this particular folder in the you know terminal let me right click open in terminal okay so here you need to enter the command first npm init only for the one time just, just you have to create a package.json just press enter okay so as I said, uh, it's going to ask some several questions. So you have to answer them. Uh, so inside package name. Okay. So what is your application name or package name? And in brackets, you get something that's like a default answer. If you, if you're okay with the default answer, you can just press enter. It just take the default answer in the inside the brackets value. Fine. And version 1.0. Yes. Next description. So what exactly you're going to do with this uh, application? So it's an example. You can leave it empty. An example of bcrypt.js. Okay. Uh, what's your starting point? My starting point is app.js. I want to just create app.js and the test command. I don't want to use any test commands and uh, GitHub repository. 
uh, anyway i'm not keeping anything inside a github repository i don't want to deploy to github and the keywords any keywords you want to search for you know google no author uh, you can write your name and the license that's default isc license press enter yes it is created and it also asks is this okay yes enter so now check you got the package dot json with all this information fine but i tell you an easiest way instead of uh, you know mostly we give an old default answers so to get or uh, to accept only the default answers you can do one thing uh let me delete the package dot json let me create again so you want to create a package dot json with all default answers if you don't want to uh, answer every time you can just say npm init hyphen hyphen yes okay if you can get this if you give this command it is going to create a default package or json with default answers so let's try this i have deleted the package or json now go to terminal so let's say npm init space hyphen hyphen yes enter okay so it's created it doesn't ask you any questions now when you see here yes you got it right and um, that's okay and there is a main uh, main means what is a main file name i need actually app.js you can change it yeah fine so once you have this uh, package.json now we are ready to install the any third party module so now what's my third party module is this uh so you can install any third party module using the package call npm install or shortcut is i uh, npm install and then the package and then the package name okay so what install package name so my package name is bcrypt.js so you have to do npm install uh, bcrypt.js so this is going to install in a local uh, your application folder inside the node modules folder okay so this is going to install in your node modules folder and you can start using this file okay and before that uh, survey this is available in the google right so all third party modules are available in the npm uh, npmjs.com that's the centralized repository website where you can find every uh, third party module as per your requirements so let me show you where this contains and what is your documentation for that because uh, you know someone has developed this but we don't know how to use it and how to what functions are available inside right so if you want to see the official documentation of this you can just go to google and uh, yeah i search here i have only search yeah you can type bcrypt.js space npm just just give the name of the package and space npm uh, you get the npmjs.com you can have a search here or you can search in google fine and uh, see this is bcrypt.js you can install using npm bcrypt.js and uh, it's, it's very popular and 7 lakhs downloads per week and uh, usage is like this fine so let me install this package how to install go to terminal so let's say npm i shortcut or install uh, bcrypt js um, enter so it is going to download the, the bcrypt js from the google so you must have internet connection to run this command um, yep done so you will get some little, uh, set of warnings just ignore the warnings uh, fine so now check in your project folder I have a node modules folder in that I have a bcrypt.js so now bcrypt.js has been downloaded successfully so now let's start using the bcrypt.js in my application so how to use that is main uh, my main file is app.js I'm going to create a app.js as a starting point for your project your project um, so let's let's create on my top folder um, new javascript app.js okay fine so now we are ready to with uh, bcrypt.js is, is already there with our system and then uh, we will start using it so let's let's import this so constants generally file system handle how we import uh, constant fs is equal to require fs the same way let's say bcrypt some name okay is equal to require 
um, here we have to say bcrypt so it is coming from our node modules folder as we have just installed okay so now once you have inst uh, imported uh, let's see how to convert this password to hash okay so let's take a user because uh, as of now we don't have any server uh, we are not discuss how to create a server so let's take a static user and convert that password to the hash okay so let's take a user information let's uh, user is equal to suppose i have a user data like this uh, username is having john and uh, email is having john at gmail.com and the password okay so this john is having the password john h123 okay so this is the password so here you can store the name as it is you can store email as it is to the database but you never store password as it is you have to convert or salt the password and uh, you need know, encrypt so how to do that is uh, i'm just showing you the uh, synchronous way so how to do is let's um, salt is equal to bcrypt dot gen uh, gen salt uh, sync okay if you have any question like this you can just refer the official documentation this official documentation so here you can understand see here gen salt okay so gen salt bcrypt dot gen salt sync okay so here i am going to provide 10 so it means it's going to apply some 10 rounds of salt to the um okay it just apply some 10 rounds of salt for some string and then let's hashed password is equal to bcrypt again dot um hash sync of i'm gonna provide uh, watch my user dot password and apply with the salt okay so my given password and apply with salt so now you get the hash password just two lines and uh, let me do a console log now console dot log of hash password so my password was john at the rate one two three and when i say hash password i got some hashed password so let's let's see what is this value okay so go to terminal execute the program node space app.js enter see you get the hashed password right and now this particular hashed password you need to store to the database okay and uh, fine uh, but let's create a new user with the updated password you can do that one let's uh, updated user is equal to uh, i just want a copy of uh, updated user updated user so I just want to take a copy of these two and password I want to modify with this. So I'll just say dot 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 user. Okay. Let's keep hold of all the existing properties and the password will be the hash password. Okay. And uh, when I write console dot log of updated user. So let's see what is the updated user. Okay. Details. Now back here in terminal. Let me run the command see here name email and the password is this one so we got a uh, hashed password and this we can store into database and now uh, so user has registered and we got the data and we store in database nine and the next time the person will log in right so once the same user has logged in he will log in with what john at one two three only but you don't know what is this right you don't know what is stored in the backend so he he will enter again john at one two three so again what is the process you have to do at server side is you have to get the john at one two three from the client from the user and you need to get the hashed password from the database and you need to 
compare both of them if both are match then yes uh, he has entered a correct password and then you allow him to log in correct uh, so how can you test that so i write uh, compare both passwords okay so how to compare both the passwords is you can write um, if bcrypt bcrypt dot compare compare sync i think it's it's a direct function yeah compare sync okay so what you have to compare i have to compare the previous password with my hash password was the previous password this one assume this person again enters the same password how to access user dot password so i say uh, you can write user dot password or else my user has entered the same john h um, 123 is my password he has entered uh, comma my hashed password which are already there in my database okay so now both are in compare if it is success you get the if condition otherwise you get the else condition so i'll make a console log console dot log both uh, okay so password match password is match you are in okay so password is match you can you know you can access the system now so password is not match you are out okay you have to you know enter the correct password fine uh, let's check okay so back here i don't want to print the console log of this comment okay i need only this right so john at one two three matching with hashed password now back here terminal when i enter yes password is matched and you are in okay so let's do one thing suppose my user has entered capital j okay it was lowercase j now i modify to capital j so now save it go back here if i run the program password is not matched you are out it means uh, this password has not matched yes exactly if you go with a lowercase again let's save it back to here cls enter yes password is match you're in okay perfect so this is the way you know you can convert the password to the hashed password and you can store into database and you can uh, after login uh, you can even uh, you know change to change back to or you can compare both and you can result in uh, login or you know uh, unauthorized access and all this right so but still we are not using a server or something uh, in future classes we're going to create a node.js server and then we'll see uh, how exactly you can show the data and how to authorize the user to uh, to register and login and all this okay so this is an example of bcrypt.js using npm module so let's thank you so much for watching and uh, in the next video we're gonna see another module thank you